Hello everybody, this is Miss J, CEO of Miss J Inc. I am here to finally give you all the tutorial on how to create a div layout. Um I can make another one on how to create a div layout with Flash, but right now we're gonna focus on a regular div layout. This will be part or type one. It's like a few certain types of ways you can make a div layout. Um this is my actual page as of right now. Um, and it's a div layout with flash. You see, I got the, my gallery is a flash gallery where I actually made it interactive with people. So you can switch, click on certain things and you, you know, get some website info if you need that. Or if you need to look at some flyer images, you can click on those and, you know, go to my space layouts and do the same thing. Um, but this is what mine is right here. So I'm basically going to teach you all how to make a layout like mine except without the flash in it that'll just make it a little bit longer even my my video player is custom so it's um it's also flash and contact form that could be something else i can shoot you all that email and just basically just go from there um we what i'm gonna do is i'm not i'm not gonna use one of my own um designs it's actually a design by this person right here it's kind of hard for me saying it says dia baby s o d m g um and i'm basically going to go through this one time with mistakes and all cuz this is actually a, a, a kind of a process and i don't want to do it over again so but if as long as the result result comes like it's supposed to be then we should be okay um, but this is her layout. This is what she designed. I told her I was going to use her layout to make it because I didn't want to create a whole new one. So we will just, as you can tell, she, she loves Soulja Boy. So we are going to use her layout to work off of. Um, what I normally do, as long as you see, you get your, all your layers over here and just, you got them all worked up the way they're supposed to be for the actual layout so what I can just zoom out or get a, f a fit screen so that's basically how our page is gonna look oh this part is gonna look like I don't have the background so um probably can just, like just fit that in somewhere which is not too hard but we're just looking at the main core right now um but this is basically how her layout is going to look we I will show you all how to slice this this is the type to type one on my videos to so a div layout creation this is going to show I'm going to show you how to slice the image and to post it up on the site um a few things with that it's slicing images i used it i used to use it um i don't really use it as much now but it's still effective you just have to learn how to work with it and use it and just you do a lot of trial and error with it basically um Slicing images, though, depending on I guess which browser you're using, Firefox can show it to you one way. If you use the Internet Explorer, it might show it to you another way. Um, also, if you use Safari or any of those other ones, it might show you totally different too. So you have to be careful with that when you slice images. If you're really concerned about having it applied to everybody, then you know you would actually have to maybe slicing wouldn't be the best idea or if you do slicing you know a better way on how to make it work for all of them then that's great too um and if you want you can also post it as a response to my to my video you know so everybody else can see so that they can also have the chance to work with these you know because there are plenty of clients in the world for everybody to get some money out of um so what what this is going to be now is I what I usually do, okay. Once I get all my layers, like she has her all layers right here. What I usually do is I usually save this as an image, so I can go ahead and slice that. I don't really like slicing the PSD file, but I will go ahead and slice the image. So what I will do is I will go to file, I believe it's already saved, and I'll go to file and I'll go to save as, okay. And then I will go to either JPEG or PNG. I don't like using JPEG because it doesn't come out like it's supposed to and sometimes it's blurry so what I always use PNG 
so I click that and I just hit save okay and it'll ask me if I want to interlace or something um I always click no and okay I've never really seen the purpose for that but okay um so we just wait for it to save right now okay now it's completely saved and then I minimize this I don't really need it anymore well, I can actually just exit out of it. So let me exit out of it. If I need to grab it again, then I will. But I'll just exit out of it. All right, now double click in here to get this file. So I double click to get this file, this PNG image, so I can slice. You see, now I'll just get that one file. All right. Um. So what I would do is, I would come here and I would actually slice the Im what I would slice would be the the buttons. Okay. The, the little parts that you actually want people to see as far as like you don't want like her design by I don't think she would want that to be um like in different like several different images you know what I mean like if I slice it if I don't slice that part and actually make it its own separate entity like this right and I don't do like that if I slice everything else and then I try and I don't do this one What's gonna happen more than likely is that this will actually be like cut up, and it, I don't think she would like that, or I would, and I don't like that for myself either. So, what I'm gonna do is basically just go through and slice everything that you see that you would, um, as far as like the top banner, like this one. It doesn't matter how far, depending on how your layout is set up. You know, if you got a, a black box right here, and you want it, you know, like this right here, like I'm assuming this is gonna be her text. This is gonna be her text. Is gonna be, so like right here, um, I slice that, right? But I would make it to the actual size of the box, and right here, like you, uh, something that I've, uh, you'll notice is that once you slice each image, you slice. Like say I go ahead and just start slicing all kind of images. You see, now that was, look at these numbers. This one is 6, this one is 4. Okay, they're down here. That one was 4 earlier, now it's 11. Now I check them out again. Now this one's 11, that one's 4. So be, just, that's not really important. You can right click to delete, you know, what you don't want. That's not really important, but, um, like, it may be, <laughs> I guess to say, just, I guess to be on the safe side or whatever. <clears throat> okay. I'm trying to. Okay. You can actually click these end parts to make them smaller or larger or whatever. That'll be that. And now, what I normally do as well is after I slice it, I go to this. Make sure you just highlight it like this. If it's not, then it's not highlighted. All right, like this one is just a blue line. It means it's not highlighted, so you're not it's not selected. So you want to go to here or wherever you whatever you're slicing, and you make sure you see the orange line. Let me just highlight, and I would right click and I go to edit slice options. Okay, now what I do, which helps me out a lot, is my go to my alternate tag. That's basically just giving my my slice uh, a tag a tag saying what it is.